the Big Baboon House crew is hard at work preparing for the baboon's first fork. A fork is a choice between two challenges, both of which lead to food. The choice this time, climb or lift. A baboon choosing climb must use intelligence and agility to scale a greasy pole to reach a delicious basket of fruit at the top. Climbing comes easy to baboons, but they hate to get anything sticky on their hands. So whichever primate picks the pole will have to get past the grease to get to the grub. A baboon choosing lift must use brute strength to topple 300 pounds of weight off the top of a crate to get to the fruit trapped underneath. Baboons are strong, but this much weight will be difficult for any one baboon to move alone. They're also known to be selfish, so a baboon who chooses lift will have to overcome his self-serving nature and team up with a troop mate to move the weights off the crate and reach the bounty below. All of the baboons are eligible to compete in the fork, and it's no surprise that the dominants, Rocky, Scar, and the top banana himself, Rambo, decide to go for it. Harry, who to this point has been lying low, decides to try as well. Harry is a dominant male. He likes to challenge authority. And he refers to his muscular arms as his 44 magnums. The submissives, Lefty, Cheeky, and the inseparable Ziggy and Ray, choose to watch from the sidelines. It's no surprise that the top banana Rambo decides to try the fork first, and he chooses climb. Hey, who sneezed on the pole? Oh, gross. Having witnessed Rambo's crash and burn, Rocky gives Ziggy the boot to take a stab at lift. Beat it. Yeah, what are you looking at? That's right, keep on walking. Ugh, how do you get in this? Rocky sees the fruit and knows he's tantalizingly close to a tasty meal. Back at climb, Harry decides he'll give the pole a try. <laughs> what, are you laughing at me? Shh. They both suck. After several attempts, Harry is exhausted and takes a breather. Oh, oh, oh. 